Hey, what's going on guys? I wanna show you a really cool AI tool that Photoshop just dropped called Generative Fill. It is an absolute game changer, whether you're a photographer, a content creator, or just an amateur trying to be better at Photoshop. So I'm gonna jump right in and I'm gonna show it off. So I'm using this, a AAA game by the name of God of War. It's, a, it's an image, it's one of my favorite games. And I wanted to turn this into like a smartphone background. So obviously it needs to be vertical and this is horizontal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use generative AI or generative fill to basically create a mock scene of what you see here, but I'm gonna further the scene by taking my crop button and, or crop tool and turning this vertical. So as you can see, I kind of estimated and really like measure out what a iPhone screen or Android screen looks like, but I just kind of estimated. So I made it vertical. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a selection tool. In this case, I'm just gonna grab the the mar what's this called, the marquee, the square tool? Yeah, rectangle marquee tool. And I'm gonna drag and I'm gonna select the blank area. I'm gonna go a little further into the image, like right about there. And as you can see, the selection is shown and that's where I, I'm gonna generate the fresh content. So if you can see here, this is generative fill. I'm gonna click on this. Now, when you click on this, you're gonna get an option to write a description. Now, in this case, I'm not gonna do this. I can show that to you later, but right now I'm just gonna click generate. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, mine's pretty fast, it's gonna process this and do all its AI magic right behind the scenes. Here is the result. Now, not only did they send me this really cool result, which just the AI did such an amazing job to make this look really cool, they also gave me, if you look over to the right side, they gave me three variations total. This is the first variation you see here. Here's the second variation, not bad, not the best. And here's the third variation. Honestly, all of them are pretty cool. I actually like the first one the best. Now you can also rate your variation to kind of educate the generative tool to know if it's doing a good job or not. So in this case, I think it's good. So I'm gonna say good result. Now the only thing I would add, and I'm sure you'd agree with me on this, wouldn't it be cool if the lightning bolt went further up, maybe like up to here, maybe to the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab now my lasso tool and I'm just gonna mock up the general area I want it to go. And notice I'm just not really caring about size. I'm just kind of getting a base around where I want it to go. So now that I have the selection here, I'm gonna once get generate fill. The only difference is I'm actually gonna write something this time. So I'm gonna say, expand the lightning to the top of the image and use the same design from the image. Notice I don't really care how I you know, a certain way. I'm just trying to give it exactly what it needs to know to do the job. So now we generate, of course. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see, once again, I got three different versions. The only thing, my only complaint here is it didn't really connect to the bottom, but that's okay. Maybe I should have specified. But as you can see, it kind of looks like it goes through like this this cloud system. It's almost like it interpreted, it, like interpreted its own thought on where it was going, almost like there was like some kind of cloud cover or something like that but I'm not really sure which one I like the most. I think I actually like this one. Yeah, I like this one. So I'm gonna stick with this one. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this went from a horizontal image, just to show you the before and after, horizontal image to this, which is, in my opinion, a pretty cool iPhone background if I don't say so myself. So if you guys like this content, make sure you thumb it up and all that jazz to give it a nice little boost. Click the follow button and also, I also have a free daily AI newsletter. So if you want to stay in the know with everything that's going on in the AI world, I try to produce it for you guys in a short, tangible newsletter that's going to give you informative information, prompts, cool images, et cetera. So if you want to subscribe to that, all you got to do is go to joeversusai.com. Of course, the links are everywhere. You can find it. Until next time, peace.